Can you believe this is Iceland? A land of glaciers, waterfalls, and endless ice. And yet, beneath that frozen silence lies fire. Iceland is home to more than 130 volcanoes. Why does this small island have so many volcanoes? Isn't it a contradiction? Ice above and fire below. The question has puzzled travelers, scientists, and storytellers alike. Keep watching to uncover the hidden secret of Iceland's fire and ice. At dusk, the volcano breathes. Smoke drifts into the fading sky, like whispers from the Earth's hidden heart. The peaks lie quiet, yet beneath them, fire waits, restless, alive. Here, silence is never truly silence. It is the pause between eruptions, the calm before creation. Iceland holds around 130 volcanoes scattered across its mountains, plains, and coasts. About 30 of them are still active, capable of erupting at any time. That means no matter where you stand on this island, you are never far from a volcano. It is one of the most volcanically alive places on our planet, a land where the ground beneath your feet is as restless as the skies above. A volcano is the Earth's vent, a doorway between the deep mantle and the open sky. Beneath the crust, pressure builds magma, molten rock born in the Earth's furnace, pushes upward through cracks and fractures. When the pressure grows too great, the surface splits apart. Ash explodes into the air. Rivers of lava spill down the slopes in minutes the land is reshaped. Volcanoes destroy and they create. They bury fields and villages under fire and ash. Yet they also build new mountains, new islands, and some of the most fertile soil on Earth. Every eruption is the planet reminding us that it is still alive. Here, the impossible becomes real. Rivers of fire flowing across fields of ice. Glowing lava drifts like liquid light, creeping over frozen ground. A slow collision between two opposites. The ice hisses, melts, and vanishes into steam. Yet, for a moment, fire and ice exist side by side, locked in a fragile balance this is Iceland's truest face, where creation and destruction walk together across the same land. On average, an eruption happens here every four to five years, far more often than almost anywhere else on Earth. But why does Iceland have so many volcanoes the island sits on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, a scar where two tectonic plates slowly drift apart. As they tear away, the crust cracks and thins. Magma rises easily, fueling eruption after eruption. And beneath it all, another force pushes upward, a mantle plume, 
a hot column from deep within the earth. Together, ridge and plume, tearing and burning, make Iceland one of the most volcanically alive places on our planet. Volcanoes here do more than shape the land. They shape the climate itself. When Iceland erupts, it does not keep its fire to itself. Ash clouds rise high into the atmosphere, drifting for thousands of kilometers. They can dim the sun, cool the air, and alter rainfall across entire continents. These invisible particles scatter light, turning sunsets blood red and lowering global temperatures for months, sometimes years. A reminder that the drama on this small island can change the weather of the world. For Icelanders, volcanoes are not only danger, they are life itself. The same fire that destroys also heats their homes, it warms their water, it powers their cities with clean geothermal energy. It, it bakes bread in the hot earth, buried in the ground until it rises, golden and sweet. It turns frozen landscapes into steaming pools where people gather even in the depths of winter. And so, Icelanders have learned to live not in fear, but in rhythm with the eruptions. The land may shake, the sky may darken with ash, yet life continues, resilient, unbroken. When the earth opens, some gather to celebrate. They sing, they dance, they stand on the edge of creation, knowing that fire is not only fury, but gift. Once this mountain roared with fire, its heart burst open spilling rivers of lava across the land. Now the crater lies silent, a scar in the earth, painted by time in red and green. But even in silence it speaks. Every ridge and crack tells the story of an eruption that shaped this valley. Iceland's craters are not just remnants of destruction. They are monuments of creation, reminders that the ground beneath us is never truly still. Yes, you can visit active volcanoes in Iceland. Guided tours take travelers to the edge of creation, to places where the ground still smolders, where fresh lava cools before your eyes. But is it safe? Safer than it seems, Iceland monitors its volcanoes closely with advanced systems. Eruptions here are often predictable and they usually occur in open fields, not beneath crowded cities. Still, caution rules. You cannot get too close to glowing lava without risk. For beauty always hides danger, and fire never forgets its power. The best time to visit Iceland's volcanoes is summer, June through August. When the days are long, the weather is mild and trails to craters and lava fields are open and safe. In winter, the story changes. Snow and darkness make access harder, but the reward is lava glowing beneath the northern lights.
Whether in endless daylight or Arctic night skies, Iceland's volcanoes promise a spectacle unlike anywhere else on Earth. Hopefully, you enjoyed this journey through Iceland's volcanoes, a land where ice and fire live side by side, where the Earth still writes its story in flame. If you want more journeys like this, subscribe to Ruach Horizons. The adventure has only just begun.